welcome to this tutorial on four axis programming. We're just going to do a simple uh, generic four axis program. <clears throat> this part's pretty simple. In the description, I've included a download link for this solid file, and you could download it and open it up in Mastercam and follow along if you like. So, first thing I need to do is rotate our part so it will rotate along our x-axis here so we just need to rotate our z negative 90 degrees perfect click ok on that and then you can see our work coordinate systems kind of in the middle of our part <clears throat> on all the axes and that's just your uh, center of rotation for your fourth axis rotary so let's go ahead and go to machine mill default and then I'm going to open up our stock setup. And we're going to add a bounding box. We're going to do a cylindrical. And I'm just going to select that. And I'm going to make it two inches and three eighths for our radius of our stock. I'm going to click OK on that. And I'm going to click OK. So the first thing we want to do is mill all the faces on this hexagon. To do that, we could just use our face mill. And we're going to select the top contour of our top flat on our hex. So let's go ahead and select that, click OK. And we'll go to tool. Let's create a tool. Do a face mill, 2 inches by 1.9. And I'll just do a corner radius. And we'll just leave it at that. Uh, 3,500 for the spindle speed. And I'll just do 40 for our feed rate and 40 for our plunge. Uh, cut parameters. I'm going to do a zigzag cut pattern. Uh, cross overlap. I'll do 10%. And then 55% for the rest of these. And step over distance 75% is fine and I don't need an even number of passes. We'll leave that off. For our angle, I'm gonna put 90 degrees and then we're gonna mill all the way down to our flat right there. So zero on the floor of the stock. And depth cuts, we're gonna do 200 thou depth cuts. And then in linking parameters, I'm going to turn clearance on and incremental 2 inches. And we'll go ahead and leave our retract at a quarter inch. We'll see what it does in the simulation, but I think that'll be all right. For depth, uh, 0 incremental to our um, <coughs> geometry that we selected, so that's fine. So I'm going to click Apply, then I'm going to click OK. And we could see our face mill toolpath. So let's go ahead and do that all the way around the part and an uh, easy way of doing that is our toolpath transform. And I'm going to select our face mill here. We're going to do rotate, tool plane, include origin, and include work coordinate system. And the rest of this we'll just leave it as is. And then our rotate we just need to do it five more times. And then we'll do 60 degrees and our rotation plane I'm going to set that to right and I'm going to click OK so now we have our face mill all the way around the part so we should be able to mill all those flats and I think that's going to be just dandy alright so let's go ahead and do this pocket up here so I'm going to go down and select our pocket toolpath, and then I'm just going to select the uh, the inside contour of this pocket on the bottom depth there. I'm going to select OK on that. And for tool, I'm going to create a tool. Use our flat end mill, and I'll just do seven grand on that, and forty, forty. Um, I'm just doing kind of like really conservative numbers here just because 
I'm probably not going to actually make this part, but it's all a demonstration. So cut parameters, uh, pocket type is standard, and we want zero on our stock walls and floor. Roughing, let's do a zigzag, 50% uh, on our uh, step over, and then we'll just leave this at 5%. Entry motion, we'll just let it do its uh, generic helix. We won't change any of these properties here. Finish, we'll leave, uh, uh, we'll do one thou or one finish pass and a uh, ten thou spacing, and we'll switch that to a uh, wear cutter compensation. Lead in, lead out. I'm going to change all these to ten percent on our length and arc radius, and then push that over to our exit. Uh, linking parameters. I'm going to turn on the clearance uh, two inch incremental and retract of uh, quarter inch incremental and we'll just leave all these values the same as well I'm going to click apply and click OK and then same thing we're going to do a toolpath transform and we're just going to select our pocket and then all the settings should be the same from last time that we did this I'm going to click OK click apply and the last thing that we want to do is the drill toolpath So I'm just going to select everything here and then delete all the half inch. So shift click to um, select all of these things that we don't want. We might have been better off doing an arc filter. However, I don't always have good luck on that with the um, 3D models doesn't always work for me but we'll go ahead and use this so now we just have our 3 8 holes and for our sort order we're going to be doing let's do a counterclockwise zig z plus and we'll just start with this first hole here I'm going to click OK on that and for tool, let's create a tool. And we're going to create a drill. So we're going to create a 3 8 drill. Uh, cutting length, I'm going to set that to like 3 inches or 2 inches. Overall length, let's set that to 4 inches and 1 inch for that. Ah, 2 inches, I guess. Yeah, perfect. And then I'll go ahead and set the spindle speed to 2,025 uh, for our feed rate. And I'll just go ahead and do a pack, 100 thou pack. And tool axis control, we're going to set this to 4 axis. And it's going to rotate on our x axis. So linking parameters, I'm going to turn on clearance to 2 inches. Uh, retract. I'm going to do quarter inch. Uh, top of stock incremental, so it should be able to figure that out for us. And depth. Let's do a calculate depth from top of the hole. So I'm going to do a negative one inch there. Click apply. So we should have all of these set up. So let's go ahead and go into our machine and simulator. Let's do simulator options. And in simulator options, I'm going to select the four axis uh, master cam machine. And then we're going to do a translate XYZ. And we're going to push the X out uh, 12 inches. I'm going to click OK on that. And then if we go to simulate, we should be able to see our part get um, machined. So I'll go ahead and click play. So it's doing that uh, two inch retract as the uh, part rotates, right? So we have all of our flats. Woo! Fun, fun stuff. I'm 
and that was our pocket tool path and now it's doing our drill so it's a pretty simple part to make on the four axis all right cool so that was just a quick demonstration on uh, programming a four axis part um, a little shortcuts to move your tool pass all the way around the part as long as it's uh, you know identical on all the faces so thanks for watching um, stay tuned for the next video and I'll catch you next time